cured the comments made by two French doctors this week about his health. Sexton is following the return to play protocols after suffering a head injury against Wales. Johnny Sexton's health is in the headlines again. This week, two French doctors, one whose recommendation saw Sexton stood down from rugby for 12 weeks in 2014, spoke publicly about the risks for Sexton playing against France on Sunday. The Ireland captain sustained a blow to the head in Cardiff. Yeah, I'm pretty saddened and shocked by the inaccurate reports that were that were thrown out. I just think it's totally inappropriate that a doctor that I have seen many years ago now um, felt it was appropriate to to come out and talk to whoever it was and 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 say those things. Um, it's inaccurate and, and highly inappropriate. And for me, I'm I'm so used to it. But for my wife and mum and stuff like that, it's it's very uh, very upsetting. I, I thought there was a patient doctor confidentiality. I'm pretty sure that exists in 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 the world. And um, I just can't get over the the fact that someone thought it was appropriate to just come out of nowhere and just start saying things that, that weren't even accurate. That's the most hurtful thing. Sexton didn't want to dwell on the way his health was discussed. And this happened twice before and I tried to give facts and defend myself and then I'm in the papers for being selfish and not looking after the younger players coming through the system and uh, people accusing me of just looking after myself. So I can't win. I trust the medical uh, guys here. They look after us incredibly well and I will continue to trust them. Sexton says he's passed every stage of the return to play protocol so far this week. Ireland will be without the suspended Peter O'Mahony until the final Six Nations game against England. Conor Murray says O'Mahony didn't have to apologise to his teammates after his red card. He didn't need to because, you know, it's not like he swung out at someone or it was a genuine mis mistake. It is um, contact with the head, which, which we all know, but... Um, Pete didn't mean that. Pete wasn't trying to go out on his own and, and hurt someone. He was just trying to trying to do his job. The team to play France will be named on Friday. Sinead Kassan, Virgin Media Sport. Another massive weekend of Six Nations action to look forward to this weekend, including Ireland against France on Sunday. It's live here on Virgin Media 1 from 2 o'clock. Well, GAA action has been suspended indefinitely and a return to on-field activity is unlikely to be allowed until Easter at the earliest. The news emerged after an emergency meeting yesterday of the GAA's COVID advisory group. Under the revised Living with COVID guidelines to be issued, elite Gaelic games will no longer be allowed under level 5 restrictions. And Down football manager Paddy Talley has had his 12-week ban reduced to eight weeks. The ban follows a gathering of Down footballers last month when collective training was forbidden by the GAA. To football next, and Everton got the better of Tottenham at Goodison Park in a nine-goal thriller in the FA Cup. Everton, despite going behind early on, led 3-2 at half-time, thanks to goals from Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison and Gilfie Sigurdsson. They led 4-3 going into the closing stages, but Tottenham's Harry Kane equalised to send the tie into extra time. Bernardo then got a winner in an epic encounter in the 97th minute to secure Everton's place in the draw for the quarter-finals. I think it was too open-ended, uh, too many goals, uh, probably good to watch, not going to lie, uh, but uh, fantastic uh, to come back, uh, conceded I think three goals probably from corners or set pieces, which is uh, something we need to have a look at and work on, but the spirit in the team to, to come back and, and eventually uh, go through is fantastic. Manchester City booked their quarter-final place thanks to a 3-1 win over championship side Swansea. Carl Walker, Raheem Sterling and Gabriel Jesus are the goal scorers. A city created history. Their 15th successive victory eclipsed the previous record for consecutive wins by an English top five club set by Preston in 1891-92 and the 1987-88 Arsenal side. And Leicester are also through. A goal from Kalichi Iheanacho with almost the last kick of the game saw Brennan Rodgers' side beat Brighton 1-0 to progress. Time now for a look at the weather forecast with Derek. QuoteDevil.ie can save you money on your home insurance, fan insurance, car insurance or life insurance. The quote devil's always got one hell of a quote. Thanks very much, Will. We're live here from Bullock Harbour in Dublin this morning. It is that wild along the coast here this Thursday. Even the seagulls are seeking a little bit of shelter. And out there now in terms of weather at the moment, we have two national weather warnings to kickstart this morning. Status yellow snow and ice. Also a status yellow wind warning reaching gale force at